In this video, we are gonna see how flat assembler virus looks like. The longest source code and the smallest exafile. So you should understand why assembler is most favorite virus creator's language. Algorithm of overwrite viruses is same in every case. So first, path of file. Virus needs access to his own code, but first he needs path to file. In this case, we will use winappy function. Get command line gives us path to file, then virus will be able to read file to the memory by read file function. But it have to be allocate enough memory. Self-reading. Virus size is already declared in code. It different method like in C virus example, but also very effective. It's much faster. Allocate memory is mission for malloc. It's faster than WinAPI allocate functions. If virus have copy in memory, then have to find files to infection. It will be searching for exa files. Of course, in this case, size as mother. To find apps to infection, it will be using find first file and find next file functions. Infection. To open victim file, create file. To write, write file. And to close, close handle. It's really as simple as that. So let's see step by step how it's working. Please remember, this is an educational video, so virus infects app only in local directory. Do not use these codes for your own safety. These few lines of code gives us full reading path. Let's see how it's working. Like you can see, it returns path but with quote marks. It could be easily fixed by checking first sign of path. Just look at this code. Now we have correct path to file. Let's change name and check. Everything works fine. Now self-reading. If virus have path to file, is able to self-read. Path to file must be in ECX register. It's faster method than passing argument by stack. This video could be also an interesting assembler tutorial. In comments in this file, you could see similar code in C for better understanding. Opening file by create file. This is how it's look in C. Memory allocated by malloc. Reading file. Comparing rated bytes to virus size. These numbers must be equal. 
If they are, then virus is in memory. If virus is in memory, we should see M and Z. Let's test it. virus in the memory. This is how a self-read looks like in this case. It's time to find some apps to infect. Here is structure win find data and that just 320 undeclared bytes. There is no thing like structure in processor. There is only memory and offsets. And under offset 2C, 44 bytes from the structure starts, is file name. And this is everything what this virus needs. So basics directory operation using find first file and find next file. Similar to this what you see in C in comments. Getting file name to EPX register. Checking file name land to avoid dot and double dot. And 5 is the shortest file name with extension. Here virus checking big extension and small extension. And if this is an exa file, we have message to find our exa file that could be infected. Let's see how it's work. Everything works properly. Now let's go to infection. Infection is the simplest thing in this virus. Virus have to open exe file by create file. Write virus to file by write file. Comparing write bytes to virus size. These numbers must be equal. If they are, then virus infected exe file. Close file by close handle. Let's see one more time how it's look. Every exe file in virus directory is infected. New virus has been created. Let's check how many antivirus systems is able to detect it.
only 12 from 71. Not many, but still better than C virus. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and don't open suspicion exifier.